For quite some time now, Eleven Labs has been regarded as the most human-like and the fastest text-to-speech model available. And for most people building, you know, real-world voice AI solutions, this was the go-to model for production. Now, in my opinion and in the opinion of many others, this changed recently with Sesame's new CSM model that they demoed. Now, I've already created a separate video about that, and this video isn't about them. The problem with Sesame is pretty simple. As of right now and as of making this video, you cannot access and develop with this model. However, Cartesia also just released a new model called Sonic 2.0. And in my opinion, this also surpasses Eleven Labs, especially in conversational AI. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access Sonic 2.0 in VAPI, compare it to Eleven Labs, show the really strong points of Sonic 2.0, and explain why sticking with Eleven Labs Flash means you're behind the curve in conversational AI. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to show you a snippet of their announcement video so that you can get a bit more context about Sonic 2.0. Today, we're announcing our latest voice foundation model, Sonic 2. Sonic 2 is built on top of our new state-based model architecture and is the fastest, most controllable voice model available today. We conducted blinded head-to-head -head evaluations on 100 held out voices and they found Sonic 2 was preferred 1.5 times more than the next best provider. Okay, so we'll get right into it. Here we are in VAPI, and the way to access Sonic 2.0 is, well, by Cartesia, is to go into the voice section, choose the provider as Cartesia. As you can see, we have a bunch of different options, Hume, Smallest, Tavis, Newthonic, Azure, OpenAI, DeepGram, Element, PlayHD, RhymeAI, Eleven Labs, Cartesia, and Vapi does their own voices as well. So obviously choose Cartesia and make sure the model is Sonic 2. I don't know why they don't have it as 2.0. Yes, Sonic 2. And then within the voices, choose whichever voice you want, whether that be a Turkish narrator man or a California girl, as I have um, selected. You can also go into the community voice library, choose Cartesia as the provider and then scroll through all of these voices and choose whichever one you want. Let's say you want a child, copy that to clipboard, go into the assistance tab and then within voices, do add voice ID manually, paste that in, it will automatically select it. That way you can kind of choose whatever they, whatever that VAPI has in the voice library. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is to test the difference between differences, sorry, between 11 Labs Flash 2.5 and Sonic 2.0. Uh, as you can see, Flash overall costs 0 0.1. So 11 Labs itself is around 0 0.036 cents per minute compared to 0 0.022. So Cartesia is cheaper. The latency, uh, according to VAPI, it is 250. According to Cartesia, I believe they said uh, 90 or 140 something in that range. And Flash is according to um, VAPI, 75 milliseconds. So Flash according to VAPI is winning, which makes sense. We don't have currently access to Sonic Turbo, I don't believe. We have English Multilingual Preview. Maybe Preview is Turbo, but I don't think so. I think they would just have labeled it Turbo. But Turbo should be quicker than Flash. It should be a 40 millisecond um, response time. However, I do think Turbo just sounds worse than flash by quite a bit. So I would always choose flash um, in my opinion. Let's do the differences. And the first kind of test I wanna see is how they deal with handling phone numbers. So usually with Eleven Labs, we would prompt it something like this, plus 44, we'd, we'd get the, the number to be spelt out, which we will test. But first let's test flash 2.5 with the full number spelt out like, you know, like that. Obviously this is not my number, so. It's a random number AI gave me. Hello, uh, my number is plus 44 Just to make sure, that's plus 4207946958, right? No, it's plus 44 2079460958. Just to confirm, your phone number is plus 442079460958, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, that was better. The first time, it was probably a transcription error. I mean, we could look in the logs and see what the transcription um, thought I said. So let's actually just do that because that'll be useful to see whether that was an 11 labs hallucination 
or whether that was um, an issue on the transcription. So 442079460958. Okay, so the, it was an 11 labs hallucination because I did say the zero there. Um, but then I said it again, 442079460958. And this time it got it correct. So it spaced out the phone number um, and yeah, said it nice and slowly, which is good. I think that was pretty good from 11 labs flash 2.5. Let's try it with Sonic 2.0 and see how it does comparatively. <clears throat> My number is plus 44 2079460958. Just to make sure that's plus 442079460058, right? Uh 958. Just to make sure that's plus 442 0794609058, right? Perfect. Yeah, there we go. I would say Sonic was better. For the spelling of the numbers, it was slower, uh, which I prefer because like I could tell very quickly that she missed the nine um, comparatively to Flash, which was a little bit quicker. But so yeah, I would give the point to uh, Sonic 2.0, but I think it's unfair to not do the prompt that most voice AI developers would do, which is to get the you know numbers to be spelt out fully. So let's test 11 labs with that and see you know whether the difference is a bit less with this prompt. Okay, uh, my number is plus 44 2079460958. Just to confirm your phone numbers, plus 44 right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, I would say that was good. Uh, something I really like about Sonic is that it um, it says it slowly, but it differs the speed of different numbers. So quite often when you're talking with someone and you're reading back a number, I mean, the way I read my number, for example, when someone asks for my number is that I say the first one. The first five numbers pretty quickly then I say two numbers and then I say two numbers and then I say two numbers so the way that you read it out can be different um, depending on kind of the, the way that the number feels I know that's such a weird thing to say but yeah so I like the fact that Sonic changed the speed of reading out different numbers from time to time whereas 11 hours is a bit more dun 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 at the same rate at the same pattern but I would still say like I heard every number um, and I would be able to be like, oh, yeah, that's the correct number with pretty high confidence and pretty high certainty. Um, but I would still give this point to Sonic 2.0. OK, next difference and next test is going to be how they handle email addresses. Email addresses are so important and spelling them out letter by letter to the point where you can understand is also extremely important. So let's see how 2.0 and Flash do in comparison with each other. So let's start with Flash and the way that you prompt Flash to spell out an email letter by letter or just prompt 11 labs in general is to space out the letters like this. And yeah, uh, I also make them capital letters because sometimes lowercase sounds a bit quieter. Um, and so, yeah, I like doing uppercase and spaces in between. So let's see how well Flash um, spells out my name or my email, sorry. Uh, you want email. to share your email address with yeah. me? Please go ahead and type it out and I'll confirm it with you to make sure it's correct. Yeah, What's sure. your email it's, address? Uh, you were about to share. It's hugopod at A-R-T-I-L-O-A-I dot com. Just to make sure that's H-U-G-O-P-O-D at A-R-T-I-L-O-A-I dot com, right? Perfect. Yeah, I would say Flash did that, you know basically flawless i think there's again with the numbers and the way that you know spelling out a phone number is done it could have changed and differed the speed at which it said it um, which it wasn't doing however yeah i would say the way that it pronounced that was more than fine and i understood everything that it said now the way we prompt um sonic 2.0 i believe is different i think dashes makes it better you know what, let's actually just test without dashes. Uh, and then we can test with dashes. So let's just publish this and see how Sonic does without dashes first. Uh, my email is hugopod at a-r-t-i-l 
H-U-G-O-P-O-D-A-I.com. Just to make sure that's H-U-G-O-P-O-D at R-T-I-L-O-A-I.com, correct? Correct? Okay, a bit quick. Um, I didn't love that. Yeah, definitely the best way was uh, like this in the uh, uh, actual Cartesia platform. But in VAPI, it didn't sound that good either. So this is something to do with the way that VAPI is passing, not as much to do with the model, because as you can see, oh, I was even on Sonic Tur Turbo. So let's try 2.0. H-U-G-O-P-O-D at A-R-T-I-L-O-A-I-I dot com. I still don't love it. Uh, so I'm definitely going to give this point to 11 labs. I think the way that 11 labs did it was better. So yeah, I would give this point to flash 2.5. Next one is addresses. So like, you know, a postcode or a someone's house address. And for this, again, let me do ask for the address, which I have right here. This is again, obviously just a random address. So a oh, random address in London. So yeah, let's see how Flash 2.5 handles. Uh, my address is 221 S Lambeth Road, London SW81 XR. Just to make sure that's 221 S Lambeth Road, London SW81 XR. Okay, I mean the SW8 felt pretty um, unclear. I wouldn't have been able to really hear that eight. So. It's not terrible. We'll give, it an, we'll give it another try after we do Sonic 2.0, but let's see how Sonic handles the address in, uh, instead of Flash. My address is 221 S Lambeth Road, London SW8 1XR. Just to make sure that's 221 S Lambeth Road, London SW8 1XR, right? Yeah, okay, so that, that was better first try. I'm going to give one more shot to Flash 2.5 and see if that was maybe just a hallucination. Uh, my address is 221 S Lambeth Road, London SW8 1XR. Just to make sure, that's 221 S Lambeth Road, London SW8 1XR, right? Okay, so that was the redo and that was better because I could hear SW8. But I would definitely give that one to Sonic 2.0. I think the way that it said it was more fluid. That felt a bit like, again, kind of blobby. I don't know how to explain it, but it didn't sound as good. So yeah, I would have to give this point to Sonic 2.0. So overall, I would say the phone number was better with Sonic. I would say the uh, the email address was better with Flash actually, and I would say the you know house address or uh, like physical address was better with Sonic 2.0 as well. So overall, Sonic did win. I don't think it's a landslide, but I do think Sonic 2.0 by Cartesia is slightly better. And their kind of statistics saying that 1.5 um, X percent of people preferred Cartesia 2.0 to the closest competitor that, competitor, that being 11 Labs, is a pretty good indication to me and other developers that Cartesia does sound more realistic in this in these kind of conversational AI use cases. So I think I'm gonna try Cartesia 2.0 in production. Something else I just wanted to say is that, you know, 11 Labs is very, very good, uh, more than a competitor to, to Cartesia. They're just as good. Maybe Cartesia is winning by a three, 4% margin. But yet, in my opinion, the best model currently today that is not accessible, accessible, unfortunately, is Sesame's voice uh, CSM model, which I really want to get access to and really want to see what it looks like in production. Because obviously, we only got access to a demo and Cartesio and 11 Labs are doing this in production, you know, constantly high uptimes, low latency. Uh, pretty low hallucination rates when it comes to th the things it's saying. So how the CSM model uh, of Sesame will do in production is another thing um, to kind of see once it gets released. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about Cartesia, about VAPI, or if you're interested in any sort of voice AI solution where we can basically automate your phone calls, whether that be inbound, outbound, for lead reactivation, for lead qualification, for anything really, we can automate your phone calls. And if you wanna do that, you can contact me and my team via the form in our website, which will be linked in the description.